My name is Joe O'Kelly, and I fix instruments here at Everything Musical. Today, I'm going to talk about cleaning instruments, often overlooked, but definitely necessary. Cleaning instruments and parts of instruments is most of what I do when repairing an instrument. It's important to remove old oils and, of course, for sanitary reasons. And I have a couple things we're going to throw in my favorite tool of the shop, the ultrasonic cleaner. The ultrasonic cleaner is the most sophisticated tool that a band instrument repair has at his arsenal. Uh, today I'm going to throw a few things in there. Uh, we have a trombone. Now this trombone has been sitting in the back of the store for a very long time. Um, looks fairly clean, but I wouldn't want to play this every day. I wouldn't want to put this in my mouth and you'll see why once we put it in there. Uh, and it's definitely not the worst instrument that I've seen in this shop. We also have this clarinet key here that I pulled out of the box. It's fairly typical of a clarinet key that might be on an instrument I'm overhauling. When I'm overhauling an instrument, I'm taking it all apart and putting new corks and pads. So the keys are perfect to put in there. Uh, you'll see when it comes out, it's far cleaner. However, we can also go an extra step and polish it up even more. The purpose of putting a key in, in the cleaner without going a further step of polishing is to remove all oils. That way, when I re-oil the instrument, it's gonna play as good as new. So let's get started. Just for fun, I found this raw brass saxophone that we're gonna put in. Normally, I would take all the keys off, but this is an instrument that is better suited for a lamp at this point. So we pulled everything from our ultrasonic tank and it's a lot better on a lot of these parts. Not perfect. Um, we're going to have to snake out the inside and rinse everything off, but on certain parts, um, just to the feel, if you were to feel this, it feels smooth and the gunk's gone on the inside and I would play this instrument. I would feel comfortable blowing into this. Um, you can see on some parts like this clarinet key, still not going to win any beauty contests, but I could make it win a beauty contest, and I'll show you the result of that. The saxophone is about a good example of managing our expectations with ultrasonic. This is a bare brass instrument, and many of the parts too on this trombone, um, you'll see a little reddish come to the top. That's because those are the bare brass parts of it. Plated instruments and bare brass instruments. Um, now this saxophone does look a lot better and I would actually leave this one in a little more. Again, we left everything together. We left pads and corks, which I would not do on any woodwind instrument. Um, but like I said, this is an instrument that we might see later on as a lamp. Um, I'll show you just how I can polish this up parts and make it beautiful if that's what you the customer wanted. Um, so I got a little more work before we can show off the final product. So 
now that I snaked out the instrument, put some uh, slide oil on there, see how smooth it works, and it's clean on the inside, sterilized. Uh, this ultrasonic cleaner helps us get to parts that I can't reach. So it's a great tool and just one of many we have to clean your instrument. Um, on the saxophone, that red stuff is wiping away really nice. Uh, so it's all about expectation. The ultrasonic cleaner might not make your instrument look brand new. It'll still have lacquer scratches or what have you, but you know, I hand polish this and I do prefer to hand polish instead of buff whenever possible. So please come on down and see us. Whatever your needs are, we can clean your instrument. Uh, we can fix your instrument and we'd be happy to see you. Thank you.